Dear God, I know you're here, God. I need your strength to uplift my spirit and persevere, God. Life just took a turn and looked severe. I have fear and it's fighting the warrior in my spirit. I need to pray. Today started ordinary, but one phone call established there's an emergency. I'm not in a position to talk. I gotta go. I booked my first flight and have 40 minutes to pack and be out the door. I'm flying solo. Afraid because what if God takes my dad from me? Hold on, dad. I'll be there soon. The first thing we're going to do is pray when I get to you in the ICU. I act like I'm okay so no one knows that I'm afraid. I got to be strong. It's always hard when you're the one known for holding on. But I'll hold on. I'm holding on to memories we have. I'm holding on to faith that this sickness will not last. I'm screaming praise and asking God to break you from your chains. This too shall pass. Even if things don't remain the same, please just be brave. Be strong and fight to carry on. I'll be there soon. You won't be alone for long. Damn. If it's not one thing, it's another. I wish I had time to describe how I feel, but sometimes all that matters is how you keep going through life spills. Life gets tough and everyone says it's a part of growing up. Seeing our parents get weak before our life reaches its peak. So you mean to tell me you had two major strokes in less than 72 hours? So that's why you see me and confuse me for your oldest daughter? No. My name is Autumn. I'm the youngest and you were there when I was born. Lord, I'm afraid. <laughs> Lord, I'm afraid. He taught me how to read and now he can't write his name. We switch positions. I'm there for 10 hours for my hospital visit. We're structuring sentences. If you can say out loud what you're thinking, then dad, I'll buy you chicken. I don't mind telling you stories and showing you pictures because I'm grateful to God that he kept you here with us. I'm just grateful that even in my darkest days, I still find light in each and every day. Yes. Life will hit us hard. No. We won't have a warning. Yes. It could break us down and eat at our hearts and make us cry. No. It's not bad to feel. Yes. My dad will heal. No. It's not okay to run and hide from the world or the warming sun. Yes, this too shall pass. No, I'm not leaving you, Dad. Yes, it's day 11. I'm missing work and my life is a mess. There's nothing more important than being there for family when they need you most. Sometimes the best thing we can do is have faith that God will do something new. God, I know you have a purpose. God, I know you're in the midst of it. God, I know just last week I let my dad's call ring because I was doing other things. Life is so unpredictable. Life is not promised. Life comes and life goes and life should be honored. As I struggle to hold my composure, I realize I'm finally grown. I'm next of kin, so decisions are mine and I can't shrink or run from them. I feel so many emotions. He needs a caretaker, but fuck, I'm technically homeless. How can I care for my dad when I can't care for myself? I just want to scream out, help. I've never felt this way before, but even in my darkest hours, I still need to carry on. So, I'm going out to dinner. I'm grabbing drinks with my friends. I'm chefing up cuisine for the girl that I haven't seen in six years. I'm surrounding myself with love. I'm searching for the light. The worst thing I could do is go into solitude when I'm needed on the front lines. So even though I'm overwhelmed, it's not too much to shop. I'll find happiness in the little things like going to an ice cream shop. I find myself on walks and finding beauty in the water fountain. I'm distracting my mind and staying positive so I can show up in bold. After leaving the hospital, I'm going to worship with my community so I can restore my soul. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust you. Life will keep on going because life is for the living. So as long as I'm breathing, I'll breathe. I'll give my worries to God because only he can answer the call to heal when there's a family emergency. Last week was tough. Um, crap, I like forgot. But my dad is tougher. He's made of the strongest stuff. On day one, he wasn't walking. But by day 10, he was climbing stairs and hopping. We're having conversation and remaining patient as he searches for the right words. With God, all things are possible, and I have enough faith for the both of us. I'm grateful to say my dad will make a full recovery if he puts his mind to it. Thank you, God, for more time. Please don't let there be a next time. I don't think I can handle another family emergency.